if you are using Chrome browser, Brave, or even Microsoft Edge, you realize that you cannot sign your hardware wallet transactions with MetaMask alone. And probably you received the same error like I did. This one failed to sign with Ledger device, U to F device ineligible. It took me a while to find the solution for this, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and how to fix it. You probably saw the warning in MetaMask that told you the same thing, that with the latest update, you won't be able to make these transactions with MetaMask alone and you'll have to connect with Ledger Live. But there is not a lot of information on how to do that. So I'm going to show you exactly what you're supposed to do in order to make this work. If you want, you can read about the fix on the Ledger support page, where it says that the latest Google Chrome update can cause U2F transport issues on third-party wallets like MetaMask. So before you start, make sure you are using the latest version of MetaMask, the latest browser version, and also make sure you update your Ledger Live application that you are going to use to sign these transactions from now on. In my case, I had to update the Ledger firmware to the version 2.0 in order for this to work. And this changed a bit the steps that you take when you use your Ledger device. So I'm going to show you right now what you're supposed to do. So let's jump to Uniswap and see what you're supposed to do. So normally you'll connect to your hardware wallet using MetaMask and you would uh, initiate a trade and just like this. And then on MetaMask, you would confirm the transaction and approve it on your hardware wallet. But if you are on a Chrome browser, Brave browser, Microsoft Edge, now you'll have to go to MetaMask, click on the icon that represents your wallet, and here go to settings, and on the advanced tab, go and scroll to the bottom where it says use Ledger Live. The new Ledger Live bridge allows you to more easily use your Ledger, only available in Chrome. So this solution is for Chrome browsers only, um, as well similar browsers like Brave or Microsoft Edge. If you are using Firefox or Safari, you don't have to, to enable this. Probably it won't even be an option to, to do so. But in case you want to go on with your current browser, make sure you enable this also on your hardware wallet, make sure you visit the Ethereum application, enter it and scroll to settings, and then make sure the contract data is allowed. Click on the both buttons to change your setting and uh, allow it. Yes, make sure it's allowed. And then you can go back to Uniswap, click on swap, confirm the swap, And now let's just lower the gas price just to make sure this transaction won't go through for me by mistake. So if I confirm it now, what will happen? It will open a new tab in, in the browser where it says that it wants to open Ledger Live. MetaMask is asking for this access. So I'll have to continue by clicking on open Ledger Live. And this will open the Ledger Live application on my computer, asking for permission to sign this transaction. As you can see here, it says open device bridge, expose your device accounts through WebSocket. Opening a bridge exposes all your accounts to third party applications. That means MetaMask will have access to your accounts. You'll have to click on open and this will open a prompt on your hardware wallet in case uh, you are not on the Ethereum application. If you are on the Ethereum application on your hardware wallet, it will go straight to review transaction. As you can see in Ledger Live, it says Ethereum bridge opened. You can now access your Ethereum account on third-party web applications through WebSocket. So to continue now and review the transaction, I'll scroll on the hardware wallet and then I confirm it by selecting accept and send on my hardware device. When you finish your transaction, just click on disconnect and close the connection between your Ledger Live application and MetaMask. At first, I had a few issues with this connection. First, you need to make sure that your hardware wallet, it's on the latest version. Right now it's 2.0 
And if the browser pop-up that connects your MetaMask to your Ledger Live application doesn't open up, and this might happen if you click on swap and then confirm swap and you just um, close this window, this pop-up, then it can happen, it happened for me many times, that if you don't create the connection on the first try, then you'll have to restart your browser, even restart your computer in order to get that uh, confirmation again. Also, if you get stuck with your Ledger wallet that doesn't want to open the Ethereum application in order to create the bridge, just try to disconnect the wallet from your computer, restart the browser, even restart the computer and try reconnecting them again and eventually it will work. In conclusion, make sure you are on the latest version of your browser, MetaMask and Ledger Live application. Even the firmware of your Ledger wallet should be the latest version. And if you have problems creating the bridge between MetaMask and the Ledger Live application, just restart the wallet, restart the browser, restart the computer and eventually it will work. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, click that like button and check out my other videos. Subscribe for awesome content like this and I'll see you in the next one.